Hello everyone, welcome to uh, this uh, product overview of Idea Statica. Uh, my name is Fredrik and I work at uh, Building Point Scandinavia. Uh, we are a reseller of Idea Statica. Uh, today's uh, objective is to give you a quick overview of the products that Idea Statica has to offer. Uh, they are uh, basically split into three categories. So we will look at uh, the steel, uh, the concrete and the BIM links. So for those of you that are not familiar with this software, <clears throat> uh, Idea Statica is the solution for the structural design of uh, steel connections, concrete D regions and critical members. Currently there are over 7000 desktop top, uh, licenses out there and uh, it is linked to over uh, 20 different uh, FEA and CAD softwares. And we believe it's a must-have for all projects and that uh, it provides uh, crucial structural design capabilities. Uh, and the real strength comes from uh, connecting your software uh, with the BIM links, leading to a much smoother and faster workflow. I will talk a little bit more about the BIM, link, BIM links later and also show you how it works and the workflow. But uh, let's look at the different modules in the steel category. So the main one is called uh, connection. Uh, that's where you do most of your work, uh, where you code check your connections. Um, so we will go more into detail about that. Um, yeah, I want to talk now uh, more about the connection module and its uh, capabilities. Um, so we can easily deal with the standard connections that we see on the left side here. Uh, there are design guides and predefined examples, uh, but for the non-standard ones, we need to put together an advanced scientific model in programs like uh, ANSYS or Nastran, and then use Excel spreadsheets to code check the connection according to Eurocode and estimate a lot of variables on the way. And sometimes it's just easier to avoid such a joint. So this is the representation of a normal workflow when uh, dealing with standard complex connections. Uh, but with Idea Statica connection, you can design complex connections much smoother and faster and be able to uh, sleep at night knowing that you can trust uh, the results. So <clears throat> here we can see all the types of analysis that's possible to do in uh, Idea Statica. First of all, there is the stress strain analysis. Um, you will do most of your checks or uh, uh, analysis in this uh, type of uh, analysis. Uh, this is where you can uh, code check the connection. It will give you uh, utilizations for all the uh, connections uh, for the bolts, plates, welds, and so on. There's also possibility to do buckling analysis. Uh, where you can look at the different parts in the connection, how it buckles, uh, you can get the critical factor, you can um, um, yeah, get the buckling modes and so on. Then there is the stiffness analysis. Uh, so you can look at each member in the connection and get the rotational stiffness and plug that into your uh, global model if that's uh, something that you uh, uh, need to do. Uh, you can also classify the members, um, if it's uh, pinned, semi-rigid or rigid. You can do a fire analysis um, and a capacity design analysis, where you put on a plastic hinge, for those of you that are doing um, seismic design. There's uh, something called design joint resistance, where you can look at the reserve capacity of a connection. Uh, there's also fatigue and horizontal tying analysis included in the software. Um, you can configure any type of connection and optimize it fast by just editing it and then running the code check straight away to see if the utilization is okay and within the requirements of the standard. So it's easy to just um, switch out stiffeners 
add openings, uh, remove bolts, welds, cuts, and so on, and do the analysis and check it once, once again, until you are satisfied. Just uh, some quick words about uh, the method on which the steel part of the software is uh, based upon. It's called um, CBFEM, so uh, it's short for uh, Component-Based Finite Element Method. So before the analysis starts, uh, the connection CBFM model is automatically generated and it consists of plates, bolts, anchors and welds. All plates are meshed with the shell elements. Bolts and anchors are represented by special nonlinear springs and welds are discretized and modeled as special constraints uh, enabling the stress redistribution due to their uh, plastification. So this is a really uh, nice way of uh, checking connections. Uh, you probably saw that uh, there is also a module called Member um, and it can do stability and buckling calculations of beams and columns uh, with a real connection on each side. So you can see here that uh, you can model a beam or a, a column and then model the actual connection on each side with the right amount of, um, well, well, with, with the, the correct connection with bolts, plates, welds and so on. And you will get the correct rotational stiffness and then you can check the stability and buckling on uh, these parts. So here you see how it's done. You model the beam, then the connection again, and calculate and get the results. There's also some examples of uh, different beams and columns that you can model in this member application. Uh, I also wanted to show a couple of uh, testimonials from uh, customers that have used Idea Statica. Uh, and you can see this very nice uh, connection design and code check. Uh, it is uh, designed and code checked in uh, Idea Statica. Here also is another one. And you could imagine doing this with uh, your extra Excel spreadsheets uh, with these uh, eccentricities. So this is quite a complex uh, connection, but uh, in Idea Statica it's actually pretty easy to, to model it and code check. Uh, and you can see the utilizations and the code check right above the connection there. Now let's talk about the, the BIM links. Uh, it is linked to over 20 different CADs and FEA softwares. And basically what you do is you import the loads from the FEA software where you have your global model. Uh, then you import the design from your CAD software to get the cross section, plates, welds, uh, bolts, cuts and so on. And then you do the code check of the connection in Idea Statica. So if you uh, have uh, the supported software and you can connect all these programs together, uh, that is a really powerful uh, tool to have. So you can see some of the softwares that have BIM links. We have uh, yeah, uh, the STAD, ETABS, uh, R, uh, RFEM, SUP2000, uh, FEM design, and for the CAD softwares, uh, Tecla Structures and Revit, most people use those. So how it actually works, uh, you will bring, uh, export the loads from your global model. Uh, in our example, we will use SUP2000, but uh, you could also use, uh, as I just said, um, FEM design, um, robot, uh, and so on. Then you bring your loads into Idea Statica, and from Tecla or Revit, you bring the connection itself. So uh, bolts, plates, cuts, welds, cross sections, and so on. And all of this is uh, exported into Idea Statica, and this is where you do the code check of the connection. I will do a live demo and just show you how it works. So here, we have a Tecla model. 
and this uh, simple steel structure is uh, finished. It has bolts, welds, cuts, plates, everything. And I just want to cold check it according to the um, with the loads from sub 2000. So we will open the checkbot. The checkbot is the BIM link connecting Tecla to Idea Statica connection. And we will start a new project. We can choose from uh, one connection at a time or bulk. I will choose the bulk and import these four connections. You could to do the whole structure at once, but uh, yeah, probably it's uh, best to do the most critical ones. So now I have the four connections in my checkbot. I will look at this uh, upper corner and open it in Idea Statica connection. So here we have it. The same connection as we had in Tecla with all of the plates, bolts, welds, cuts. So the only thing I'm missing now is the loads from my global analysis. So here is a SAP 2000 model. It has um, some loads on it. It has uh, wind, snow, self-weight and three load combinations. So now, now I want to apply the loads to this connection. So I will mark the same four connections. Open the checkbot. So this is the checkbot is the BIM link again connecting sub 2000 to Idea Statica connection. So I will import them and yeah, here we have the four connections. And in these connections, uh, the loads are included. So you can have as many load combinations as you want. Here I have just three for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. I can also review the loads, all of the load combinations that is included. I can even uh, look at the diagrams um, that was imported. So for example, for ULS1, I can look at the moment diagrams Here we go. And I can see how it looks before I um, import it. So that's it. Uh, now I have to go back into Idea Statica connection so that I can import the loads. So I press this connection import button and I find the correct file. And there I have it. I have my three load, com load combinations and they are applied to the correct members. So now I'm ready to do the cold check and see if my connection is uh, um, okay according to Eurocode. So I'll just do some quick uh, finish and hit calculate. So now the program is code checking the connection and now it's finished and I see that uh, I have uh, utilizations and green check marks. So this connection is okay, but I can go in and look at the results more in detail. I can look at uh, the stresses the strains, the bolt forces, the mesh, the deformed shape, and see that it behaves in the way that I uh, expect it to behave. <coughs> and I can also look at the results uh, more in detail in these tables. And I can see that every plate 
and bolt and weld is code checked. I can see the code check with reference to the Eurocode and go through it in detail. And all of this can also be uh, included in the report, of course. So here's the welds and you can also see the stresses along each weld. And when I go to the report tab, it will be created a report for me. And this is how it looks. And you can also expand this report to have all the code checks uh, as mentioned. And you will get a summary also here um, with OK or not OK. So that's how the BIM links uh, work. Um, and you can then do optimization. Uh, if you find out that you have to change something, you go back into Tecla or Sub2000 and you change something and you can hit a synchronize button and, and you can run the analysis once more. That's the workflow of these uh, BIM links. So uh, let's look at uh, the concrete part of uh, this software. <clears throat> they have uh, different modules. Uh, the first one is called Detail. Um, and it will accurately and safely design concrete walls, uh, D-regions or whole members. Uh, so this Idea Statica Detail gives you a complete design report with all ULS and SLS checks for, um, yeah, Concrete walls, beams with openings, dapped ends, bridge diaphragms, uh, pile caps and pier caps, and also general shape uh, D regions. There's also a module called uh, RCS, um, and it helps you with reinforced concrete sections, uh, pre stressed uh, cross sections, composite or staged cr cross sections and 2D elements, such as uh, slabs, walls, shells, and so on. Uh, and there's also beam and member, uh, and you can use that for um, to get a complete design report of uh, pre-stressed uh, concrete beams, reinforced concrete members, beams with openings, uh, general shape uh, frames, and slender members. So the method on which this uh, detail module is based upon um, is the compatible stress field method. Uh, it's a new method for uh, the design and assessment of concrete structural um, structures, particularly suited for uh, so-called discontinuity uh, regions, for which it overcomes limitations of classical uh, design tools and ex existing softwares. Uh, here is what you can do with the concrete tools. You can see that, uh, yeah, the reinforced beams, uh, it can do uh, cast in situ walls, deep beams, frame joints of all types, uh, openings in beams and walls, and yeah, also coupling beams. Uh, it, can, uh, it can do all ULS and SLS uh, checks, as mentioned, uh, according to the standards. And you will get the results represented in a very nice looking uh, plots and uh, tables. Uh, you can see some of them uh, here. Yeah, it can also do prefabricated walls. Um, you can put in um, supports and, or spring, um, springs in the ends of these uh, prefabricated walls. Uh, it could do corbels, brackets, double-edged beams. Um, yeah, all sorts of beams and pre-stressed members, hanging supports, and so on. Here is also a view on how the results after uh, analysis uh, looks. So the results are represented in a very nice, uh, nice way. And it will be included in the report also. Um, there is also some tools for bridge engineers for looking at uh, diaphragms, um, yeah, general shape uh, bridges, piles with uh, substructures, <coughs> uh, composite beams, pier caps, 
and so on. So you can never have too much data when it comes to documentation uh, regarding the checks of uh, these, uh, these things. So here you also see some uh, uh, results after the analysis is done. And you can also do this staged construction um, in, in beams. And it, it can also suggest reinforcement using a tool called uh, topology optimization. So um, you can see a picture of it here, <clears throat> where the compression and the tension forms in, uh, in these uh, beams or walls or whatever you are checking. So yeah, <clears throat> here is a, um, a picture of a project from a customer who has used it on walls and panels and have uh, looked at the connection between uh, these types of things. So yeah, just a quick view on, on the finished product. So uh, that's it. If you want to know uh, more or have more information, go into the support center. So thank you.